Oscar De La Hoya versus Vitor Belfort. Who do y'all think is gonna win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So Oscar De La Hoya and Belfort, two old guys going at it. Eight rounds in the light heavyweight division. Before I get more into the video, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing. Please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So this fight will be taking place on the 11th of September. September 11, 2021. Live over at the Stable Center in Los Angeles, California, USA. Fight will be available on Fight TV. If you want to see this fight, go to fight.tv. Yeah, it's right here. It's going to be promoted heavily. So click on it or you can go to boxing click on boxing and uh, scroll down to September 11 click whichever language you want it's available in French Dutch Spanish and obviously English and uh, you know click on the English one if you speak English like I do and um, you can watch it for $50 <laughs> yeah $50 um, yeah $50 to watch this fight live on Fight TV and the rest of the card this includes Silva versus Tito Ortiz and the uh, Vences versus Jonah Carroll, uh, David Hay versus Joe Fournier. So, so yeah, uh, I think we all know Oscar De La Hoya's resume at this point. Retired, came back, here he is, Hall of Famer, fighting after 13 years of not fighting, uh, coming off the uh, Pacquiao loss at the age of old. <laughs> he's an old man man shouldn't be fighting but here he is fighting another old man in Vitor Belfort who has a professional record boxing record of 1-0 one win come by way of Nakar Tikio back in 2006 against Jose Mario Neves but obviously he's not known for boxing he's known for what he did in mixed martial arts and MMA and in MMA he uh, consisted a record of 26 wins 14 losses coming off a loss against Lyota Mashida back in 2018 in a UFC event and uh, yeah this fight should be an entertaining one in my opinion I know both are old both <laughs> are not the same as they were um, but it should be entertaining it's gonna obviously it was meant for entertainment whoever is buying this is looking for entertainment uh, will I be buying it $50 I have worked that day so yeah I'm not calling off work I already called off work to watch uh, some other fights. So, yeah, I'm going to work September 11. I can't take every Saturday off, you know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably watch it, you know, once it's available online somewhere, like here on YouTube. So, anyway, this fight between De La Hoya and Belfort. Uh, I watch him for the Belfort, you know, his boxing because... You know, I'm not a big MMA guy, and after watching some footage of Belfort, he's actually not so bad. In, in recent training stuff, like him in camp, he's not so bad. It's not so bad. Actually, I think he has a decent shot to, to beat Oscar De La Hoya. If, uh, you know, if De La Hoya can't take a punch anymore. Um, but obviously, I'm leaning towards Oscar. He is the boxing guy here in the end. He is the guy who is experienced with boxing. And, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning towards Oscar in this one. I think Oscar is going to go out there and outwork, outpunch Vitor Belfort. But at the same time, I think Belfort has a decent chance to uh, to pull off a win. I'm like 60-40 in favor of uh, Oscar De La Hoya. I could see Belfort definitely winning maybe three rounds, two to three rounds in this fight. I think the fight will most likely go to eight rounds. Uh, so I'm... I'm Thinking five rounds to three, six rounds to two in favor of Oscar De La Hoya because of the way you know his punch output. If you guys know how he fights, he loves to throw, let his hands go, and I think that's what will lead him to a victory. But at the same time, Belfort will will definitely come to fight, and he will definitely have moments. But in the end, obviously, I'm leaning towards the boxing guy. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you all think? Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. And like always. Have a great day. Alright, thanks.